Hello, Assets. Um, welcome to the Asset Chain Liquidity Mining Program. Um, I'll be walking you through our dashboard and everything you need to um, get started. So, but first of all, um, I advise you to check out our documentation. Um, we have everything detailed out regarding the mining program and I would advise you to check it out here. So if you have any issues, you can always refer to this for clarification on any parts um, of the mining program. So yeah, um, so to begin with the mining program, you just need to visit this page. Um, of course, you need a referral code to get started. So if you need a referral code, just join our Telegram community and request for a code there. Um, you can find our Telegram channels here. So just visit this documentation and you will get the link to our Telegram. So once you join, just ask for a referral code and one will be given to you. Then you can proceed. So I will proceed to sign up on the liquidity mining page. So just enter the referral code and you'll connect your wallet to the dashboard. So I'll proceed to connect my wallet now. Yeah, so I've connected my wallet successfully. So, but before anything else, um, I would advise you to visit the gas station. So get gas so that you can be able to get um, RWA that is needed to pay for gas on Asset Chain. So on Asset Chain, we are sponsoring gas for our users. So we pay for your gas fees. And this is where you can, where you can get the gas to be able to pay for your gas fees for transactions. So once this gas that has been sent to you, once it's exhausted, you're eligible to come back here and claim more from the gas station. So yeah, so you can see that we've gotten RWA sent successfully to our wallet. And if you proceed to check your wallet now, you should have enough RWA to be able to participate in the mining program. So that's it for that. Um, so next thing is understanding what is on this page. So this is where you get an overview of your progress during the mining program. Um, the total points refers to the total number of points that you've earned from the tasks that are involved in this program. The lock points are points that you get when you bridge assets to asset chain. Then we also show you a rank of where you rank compared to other users on our mining program. So below here, you can view the real-time activities. So you can see other people that are currently participating in this mining program. And you can see these activities in real time. If you also perform a task, you're going to see it displayed here too. Exactly. So to be able to gain points in the mining program, you need to perform an on-chain task or a social task. So an on-chain task is you performing a swap on our decks, which I'm going to show you how it's done. You can also bridge assets from base or from BSC or Arbitrum to asset chain. Once you do this, you actually gain points for doing that. Then when you also lock liquidity on our decks on asset chain, you get points for doing that too. All right. So also we have some social tasks that you can do to gain points. First of all, you have to log in with your X and also log in with your Telegram so that we can validate that you are a real user. Then you can proceed to repost asset chain on X. Once you do this, um, you tag our channel and you can also verify the task. Then you can also mention asset chain on Twitter. You can also follow our page. Then you can also mention Zen Finance to gain points. So you see that we have points that are attached to each of these social tasks. These tasks, the points you gain from this task here can actually translate to, you know, a share of RWA that will be distributed on, on our token generation events. So this is very important and, you know, I advise you to take notes of that. All right, so we're going to proceed to swap on asset chain, asset chain DEX. Um, so before anything, just make sure that you are connected to your wallet, um, the wallet that you are using to participate in the mining program. Then also check, ensure that you have enough gas 
to cover your transactions. Of course, you should have gotten gas already from the gas station. Then also ensure that you're on asset chain mainnet, um, which we are currently on. So yeah, we'll proceed to swap 50 USDT for CNGN. So we already have this selected. Then we'll proceed to swap. So the gas that was sent to you in the gas station should be enough to cover your transactions um, for the swap. So we'll proceed to confirm. Then we'll proceed to confirm again to complete the transaction. So once we do this, it should swap 50 USDT for CNG and successfully for us. All right, so the next task that we're going to be doing is adding liquidity to a pool, then locking the liquidity. So if you are able to lock your liquidity on asset chain decks, you're also eligible for some of the points that are allocated during the mining program. So how do we do this? You first of all come here and select the pair that you want to add liquidity for. So I'm going to be adding for USDT CNG and you can see that I already have some pools or some positions that I've added already. I'm going to be adding to USDC CNGN. So I just come here, select the pair, then click on continue. So once I do this, I'll come down here and put the amount I'm trying to add liquidity, the amount of liquidity I want to add. So I'll be adding five USDT and it's also going to take about 7,000 CNGN from my account. So of course, also make sure that you're on the correct network while doing this make sure you're on asset chain mainnet make sure you are using the wallet that you are that you're using to participate in the mining program then click on add liquidity and confirm so once you do this um it's going to ask you for approval you go ahead and grant it approval then you mint your position successfully so once you do this it adds it adds liquidity to the pool but you have to actually lock that liquidity before you can gain points from the mining program. So what do you do next? You come down and select the, the position that you added. Then you scroll down to lock liquidity. So once you do this, you click on lock liquidity. You select the amount or the period of time that you want to lock your liquidity. Then you proceed to lock. So once you do this, you ask you for approval, you grant it approval, and then you also confirm your transaction. So once you do this, it's going to proceed to lock your liquidity on the asset chain decks. As you can see, you are successful. And with this now, when you come back to your dashboard, you should be able to see it under your personal activities um, once the transaction has been loaded, and then your points will also be increased here whenever the points are distributed. All right, so for the bridging task, um, we're going to be bridging USDC from this to asset chain. So um, we'll proceed to do this. So first of all, always confirm that you are connected with the wallet um, that you used to register for the farming program. Then also make sure that you have enough it to bridge from base that's on base then since you are bridging from base to asset chain also ensure that you are currently on the base network so we'll proceed to bridge we're going to be bridging 10 usdc okay so i'm going to confirm the transaction exactly so it's going to take a while for the bridge to be completed then the next thing will be to complete the transfer of your assets so you click on transfer from base um then you await transfer we we'll just take a moment then you confirm so this begins the bridging process for you so you just wait for it to complete the transfer progress then it says that it's done so you can see that it's done and we just give it a moment to complete verification. So once this block verification is confirmed, then we are going to go and claim our assets on asset chain. That's the USDC that we are bridging to asset chain. 
all right so i'm just going to go ahead and click on claim later then you should go to the side this side of your transaction history and you are going to view unclaimed so why here you see that it's still verifying so we are going to give it some time to verify um before we complete it our transaction has been confirmed so we're going to go ahead and claim our assets so you just proceed to click on claim and this will now switch your network to asset chain so that you can now claim our usdc on asset chain network so click on approve confirm all right so once we've claimed that asset on asset chain then if i go to my wallet i'll see that i have claimed 10 usdc so i have bridged 10 usdc from base to asset chain so yeah so once you do this you actually gain lock points for bridging assets so these are the lock points that i gain for bridging from base to asset chain so lock points are points that you gain when you complete a bridge so but before these points can actually become actual points that you can use to earn rewards you need to actually take your bridged assets then deposit them on the asset chain dex used it to lock liquidity so once you lock liquidity successfully this lock point will be moved to your total points apart from this um, on-chain tasks and social tasks that you can perform we also have the community boost page so this is for communities that we are partnering with as asset chain so if you belong to any of these communities you should be able to perform some tasks here so another feature or that we have on the mining dashboard is for referrals so we give our users the ability or the opportunity to earn from you know referring other users to the to the mining program then if the user trades on asset chain index you can actually earn a percentage of their fees you know directly to be to your wallet and then there's also the leaderboard this leaderboard currently you can view the on-chain activities so you can view where you rank compared to other traders or other participants of our mining program and, you know as you perform the task as you add liquidity as you swap on our decks you get to climb this leaderboard then another section that we have is the reputations leaderboard this reputations leaderboard is actually um different from these activities here so in the sense that we are actually tracking those that are mentioning you know asset chain or any of our ecosystem projects on twitter we've been running this campaign for a while and this is the leaderboard for it so if you want to be able to participate in this all you just need to do is tag asset chain on twitter then mention any of our projects on twitter so once you do this it makes you eligible for some points so as often as you can just keep doing this and you will see that you'll be able to climb the leaderboard here okay so that's it for um what i wanted to show you on this page really um i hope that this walkthrough was very informative for you and i hope to see you topping our leaderboard soon yeah welcome to our searching